What's up, Psychedelic Spotlight? I'm James, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Psych Business Roundup. Today, we'll be discussing two stories, another delay to MindMed's Project Lucy, and Compass Pathways patents being challenged. Now, depending on how you look at this, this is either a bad news, bad news story day, or a bad news, good news story, or two inevitable delays, which are just part of the process. To start, we're gonna be looking at MindMed, who is, of course, ticker symbol MNMD on the NASDAQ exchange. As I just said, there has been a delay to Project Lucy. Now, I'm sure you guys already know, but Project Lucy is MindMed's division attempting to treat generalized anxiety disorder using LSD, large doses of LSD mixed with talk therapy. Now, the previous timeline for Project Lucy was that MindMed wanted to start their phase 2B clinical trial before the end of 2021. However, as we got closer and closer to the end of 2021, it was becoming more and more obvious they would not meet this deadline. And now it's official. MindMed just put out a press release saying that Project Lucy is delayed, though it wasn't coming from them. In fact, it was the FDA that required the delay. They put on a clinical hold onto their IND investigational new drug submission. And they said that they would provide more details within the next 30 days. And that's it. That is all we know at this point. We don't know if it's a big problem, if it's a small problem, if it's gonna take months to fix, if it's gonna take two hours to fix, or if it will scrap the entire project altogether. We just have to wait for more details. Now, if you visit the FDA website, you'll see a hold can be placed on a clinical trial if they believe that the design of the trial needs to be changed. However, we don't know what that change will look like or if this is even the reason behind the hold. On top of that, we still haven't seen the data from MindMed's phase 2A trial attempting to treat generalized anxiety disorder using LSD. We don't know if that trial went perfectly, we don't know if it went terribly, or how the results of that are informing the design of the phase 2B trial. Again, I'm gonna say this a million times, we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, in this press release, the CEO of the company, Robert Barrow, did give a statement. I'll go ahead and read that now. Our team has a tremendous sense of urgency to bring new treatments, such as LSD, to the many patients in need, particularly given the growing mental health epidemic. We remain highly confident in the therapeutic potential of LSD to usher in a new treatment paradigm for these disorders, and we look forward to working closely with the FDA to satisfy all outstanding concerns as rapidly as possible. Now. This statement kind of reads like it was written by a politician. It says a lot, but at the same time said nothing whatsoever. So we can't really glean any information from that unless you want to go hardcore into speculation based on nothing whatsoever. Now, as we have talked about before in the past, delays in this sector are to be expected. We've seen them in the past, we're seeing it right now, and we'll see it in the future. And right now, we just don't know how significant this delay is or how serious it is. So we can't really speculate on it, but we do know that things like this are to be expected. And frankly, I would be a little bit more bummed out about this delay if it wasn't coming on the heels of some good news for the company. So as we talked about recently, MindMed recently launched the beginning of their phase 2A clinical trial attempting to treat adult ADHD with LSD microdoses. Now, as most of you guys are already aware, LSD microdosing is one of the aspects of this sector that I'm personally most excited for and was part of the reason that I got into the psychedelic medicine sector in the first place. So here we just have to take the good news with the bad news as we move into 2022. Next up, we're going to be looking at Compass Pathways, who is, of course, ticker symbol CMPS on the NASDAQ exchange. And as I said in the intro, Compass Pathways is currently having one of its patents being challenged. Now, just as a quick refresher, Compass Pathways currently has five patents granted and many more in the pipeline. Now, most of these patents, four out of five to be precise, revolve around a crystallized version of psilocybin called Polymorph A that Compass claims to have invented. Now, this Polymorph A is the backbone of Compass's Comp360 psilocybin, their proprietary psilocybin that they're currently using in their clinical trials. 
Now this current challenge is only against one of the patents. However, the group that's bringing the challenge is expected to bring further challenges in the coming days and weeks before the end of 2021 against other Compass Pathways patents that revolve around Polymorph A, so we should be expecting to receive those soon. Now, in order to understand both the patents and the challenges against them, we have to understand a little bit of basic science. So when psilocybin is created in a crystal form, there are only so many ways that the atoms that make up the psilocybin molecule can be arranged in. And what Compass Pathways is saying with their polymorph A is that they have created a new way to organize the atoms that make up the psilocybin molecule. Now, under patent law, if something has either been created before in the past, or it would be obvious to an expert in the field, it could not be patented. This is called prior art. So if Compass Pathways really did create a version of psilocybin that would not be obvious to experts and that nobody has ever created before, then this would be a good, solid patent. However, we have an issue here. You see, psilocybin has been illegal for decades and therefore much of the research and science that has been done into psilocybin has been done in the shadows, making it very murky what is already known in the scientific community. Now, a group called the Freedom to Operate or FTO is challenging these patents, saying that polymorph A isn't unique at all. In fact, they say that they have examples of this going back decades, including one from 2008 and another from 1963. Furthermore, they say that what Compass Pathways calls polymorph A doesn't even really exist. They say that it is just a combination of two other forms of psilocybin, namely polymorph A prime and polymorph B. I know the names are confusing. I wish they could have more unique names, but that is what it is. It is what it is. And they say that they have examples of this mixture that date back to 1975. Now, personally, I have about zero idea how these cases are going to go. It's not only gonna rely on the science, the history of the science, but also the intricacies of patent law. Now, with that in mind, let's take a step back and take a look at what the next steps are here. Right now, Compass Pathways will have three months to respond to the current filings, and they will also have three months for any additional filings that come within the next couple of months. Then, the Patent Trial and Appeal Board will decide whether or not the case brought against them has any legs. If they decide that it doesn't, and they throw this out, if they decide this case is not worthy of going to trial, and that's it, it's over. Compass Pathways wins. They have decided that Comp360 Polymorph A Psilocybin is a new and unique version of psilocybin. It is a good patent. However, alternatively, the tribunal can decide that, you know what, maybe we need to look at this further and let's take this to a trial where more evidence can be presented. If that is the case, well then, that trial can last upwards of two full years. And that's not even including all of the appeals which I am sure are going to happen. All of this is to say, we are just at the very beginning of this process and say it all together, we're just gonna have to wait and see how it all turns out. Now, on a related note, it's starting to sound like we're just gonna have to wait and see is kind of becoming my catchphrase. But with that in mind, if we're gonna have to wait and see is my catchphrase, well then what would my superhero name be? Let me know down in the comments what you think.